Hello and welcome back to our weekly eShop Games on Sale Roundup, where we help you cut through the chaff and find the best bargains across the UK, US and EU eShops. As always, we'll be giving away a $10 eShop voucher to one viewer next week. All you have to do to be in with the chance is let us know your pick of the week in the comments below. We will announce last week's winner later on in this video. Now let's jump in and take a look at these deals. Kicking things off with my pick of the week, it's Steam World Heist from Image and Form. The Steam World series has a wonderful steampunk vibe, and this time it's back in the form of a turn based strategy game featuring a brilliant soundtrack recorded by Steam Powered Giraffe and gorgeous visuals. You and your team of robots roam the galaxy in a space adventure. The gameplay is deep and rewarding with an excellent aiming mechanic and lots of combos, cover, and strategic decisions to be made. There are countless hours of tactical fun to be had. This is perfect either on a TV or in handheld mode and with 75% off, this is an epic bargain. One that all fans of the strategy genre should consider picking up. Juan, Jordan, what are your picks this week? Hey guys, Jordan here with my pick of the week. I'm going for a game that I reviewed even before I joined Switchwatch, a game called Serial Cleaner. This is a pretty stylish, compact stealth game where the idea is to cover up murders by cleaning the crime scenes. You sneak around, avoiding the cops, hoovering up all the blood and the dead bodies in compact but challenging levels. I think the original price was decent, although pushing it slightly, but now with 90% off at $149 in the US, UK and Europe in all the currencies, it's definitely worth it. When prices get this low, you start to question the quality, perhaps thinking it is kind of like a shovelware game, but this one does have some quality to it. Right, that's my pick of the week. Take care, guys. Thank you very much, James. My pick of the week is Tiny Barbarian DX. I love a good platformer and especially a challenging one. And you can bet on Nicarlis to deliver. Here we have Tiny Barbarian DX with a not so tiny 67% off here in the UK and in Europe, which is a huge discount for this wonderful title. This week, our USA friends are not so lucky, but be at ease. Just set up a UK eShop account and job done. If you have no idea how to do this, leave me a comment down below and I'll link you a guide. As a barbarian, you of course need to be showing your might and muscle with a bit of magic too to impress the lady of your dreams. I mean, what else is there? This is a fantasy fiction which has that lovely pixel art thrown in, which we all love, don't we? 2D action platform with some hack and slash combat thrown in at 8.99 it's just too good to turn down have a great week everyone i'll see you soon on the next one we've got so much content coming up take care fantastic picks there boys up next it's blasphemous if you want a challenging non-linear world to explore then blasphemous is the game for you yes this has its roots in dark souls the combat is absolutely brutal you can customize your build by discovering and equipping relics rosary beads prayers and sword hearts there are loads of combinations for you to find the best playstyle for you. Best of all are the boss battles which are epic in scope and absolutely huge dwarfing your character. This is a great game, especially for those that like worlds dark and twisted. 40% off makes this a solid pick. Flipping Death's premise is basically that of the wonderful Terry Pratchett Discworld book Mort. After dying, your character Penny is mistaken by Death as her temporary replacement, while he swans off on a well-deserved break. It makes for a great story. Gameplay-wise, it's similar to Stick It to the Man with its quirky style and mechanics that have you meddling with the locals by possessing them. Whilst it has a bit of platforming, this is mostly a point and click adventure with a great story and bags of character. One definitely worth looking at. It's not often that a rhythm based game comes up with something new, but that's exactly what Crypt of the Necro Dancer has done to fantastic effect. It turns out that combining beats and dungeon crawling results in a brilliant and exciting game. The tunes are spot on and the gameplay is no slouch. The devs follow this up with Cadence of Hyrule, essentially the same gameplay with characters from Zelda, and whilst that is a blast to play, having the original for just $3.99 makes this a real bargain. It's one that nearly everyone can enjoy. 
Agent A is a puzzle adventure that stands out for its comic style and retro story straight out of the 60s. It started out life on mobile so it's a natural fit in handheld mode where the touchscreen works nicely as you search for clues and figure out where to use your inventory items. You play as Agent A infiltrating the lair of the evil Ruby La Rouge, but things soon go wrong. The puzzles are tricky. This is the type of game where you'll get stuck and start randomly trying items out until something works. It's a little tough in places and a little bit rough around the edges, but you get all of the episodes in this Switch version, so there's plenty of content making this a bargain, especially with 80% off. We love our shoot 'em ups here at Switch Watch, and this one is a welcome addition to the Switch library and one I have no hesitation in recommending. There is a decent story, great audio, and decent visuals, all in a package with fun gameplay either on your own or with a friend. I like the switching screens mechanic, even though it took some time to get used to as it adds something different to the genre. You may prefer a single screen experience, but until you try this you won't know for sure, so bear that in mind. While the game does have a few flaws, none of them detract too much from what is overall a solid package and now all for less than £2. Goetia is a point and click adventure published by Forever Entertainment and out of the bunch of point and click games they have published, this may be their best. The game has a horror backdrop complete with dark visuals and eerie music as you try to solve the puzzle of your own death 40 years prior. The puzzles vary from easy to frustrating and this is a decent solo experience at a very attractive price point. I do like the way this one looks and feels. If you enjoyed Rayman, then you will like Unruly Heroes. It features hand-drawn art in a fantastic style and tight platforming. The story is a retelling of the Chinese tale Journey to the West, and what we have is a polished and accomplished platformer that you won't want to miss. There are light elements of brawler gameplay thrown in, and the option to play in co-op mode is a welcome addition. Blossom Tales The Sleeping King delivers on its promise in recreating a gaming classic and gives us an ode to one of the best games of all time, Zelda A Link to the Past. The story is a laugh and I love how it references other games in a tongue-in-cheek way. There's plenty of content too and even diverging decision points in the game. The puzzles are solid and it follows a tried and tested method of dungeons, new items and big bosses with weak spots. It's a lovely little RPG that you will no doubt enjoy if you like the old school style. You can check out my review by clicking at the top right hand side if you want to take a further look before diving in. Thief Simulator does exactly what it says on the tin. Playing as a thief, you are introduced to the mechanics of your trade. There is no deep story here, this is a sandbox game that slowly adds more and more dastardly skills to your repertoire. When it came out, Jordan gave it a 6 because it had performance issues and felt like a good idea that's still in development. Since then, the developer has added some more content and improved performance, but there are still a few issues. At 90% off though, this is an interesting game to try out. Darkest Dungeon is one tough cookie. It's bleak and you will fail often. This is a story-driven, turn-based RPG with randomised dungeons and permadeath for your characters. The themes of stress, fear and affliction will haunt you throughout. Each time you take a party into battle, you risk losing your characters or having them lose their minds. It's cleverly done and adds stress to every encounter. You are constantly balancing whether to press on and in between stages you need to heal up and rest, recruit new members and figure out how best to split your resources. Holding everything together is the fabulous writing and exceptional voice acting. This one is not for the faint of heart, but if you are after a challenge then this definitely might be for you. The King's Bird is a platformer with a focus on precision, accuracy and pace is needed to succeed. There are some nice mechanics, you have the ability to glide and wall jump and will need to time them just right to succeed. The visuals are really nice and the soundtrack is decent as well. It's a crowded genre, at the original price it's tough to recommend over other titles but with 75% off it's worth dipping into if you fancy a tricky platformer with some different mechanics and a cool style about it. Phantom Doctrine is a strategic turn-based espionage thriller game. It plays out like XCOM set in the spy world. You manage a network of spies and send them out on missions where stealth is often the best option. Set at the height of the Cold War, this is all CIA and KGB. In between missions, you manage the tedious tasks of a spy network and it can become tedious indeed with so many small things to do. 
It's a great concept, but its execution leads to something less fluid than you might expect. If you're a fan of tactics and dictating from the shadows, then this might be for you, especially with 90% off. X-Order is a turn-based strategy game with some RPG elements thrown in. It features a cartoony style and plays quite casually, a little bit like Advanced Wars Lite. It's enjoyable, but far from perfect, and the reason it's on this list is simply because it's not a bad game, and it's less than £1 with a whopping 92% discount. It's worth picking up if you like the genre, and there's even multiplayer to dip into as well. Alright, thanks everyone who made a pick last week. There were some great comments as always. This week's winner is Lilith Leon. Congratulations Lilith. Please email us so we can get your $10 eShop voucher to you. Let us know your picks this week and be sure to subscribe if you enjoy this series. Tomorrow it's physical release Mondays from Jordan and I cannot wait to see it. We'll see you again next week. Have a great week and thanks everyone for watching.